In this video, we're going to be taking a look at sets and Venn diagrams. Now remember a set is viewed as a collection of objects, and a Venn diagram is just simply a pictorial representation of the sets, where the sets are represented by enclosed areas within that rectangular plane. And a Venn diagram sometimes helps us evaluate certain information. So for part A, in order to prove that A intersect B union C is equal to the right hand side, A intersect B union A intersect C, well sometimes Venn diagrams can help us prove this. So I want you to pause the video now and use Venn diagrams to help prove the left hand side equals the right hand side. So use those Venn diagrams, shade in appropriate regions, and show your proof both on the left hand side and the right hand side should end up with the exact same shaded region of the Venn diagrams. So for part A, we want to show that A intersect B union C is exactly equal to A intersect B union A intersect C. Now Venn diagrams can help us visualize this. So a Venn diagram that shows all three sets would look like this. And I'm going to label them A, B, and C. Now the first thing that I want to do is figure out the left hand side. Let's figure out what shaded region that represents there. So the easiest thing to do is to try to figure out, okay, what is the shaded region of just A? Well the shaded region of just A is this right here, including these sections here. So all of A, the entire circle of A. Now also we want to figure out what is B union C? What is that shaded region? Well that shaded region, B union C, would be all of B as well as all of C. So this shaded region here represents B union C. Now we have A here, we have B union C here, and what we want is the intersection of those two. So the intersection of these two Venn diagrams would be what? Well, the intersection just means what's in both this one here as well as this one here. So if you look at the shaded regions of both, which are in common, well the only region that I can see that's in common is they both have this shaded in as well as this area here as well as this area right here. So your final answer for the left hand side would be this section as well as this section as well as this section. So that's your answer for the left hand side of the equation, this right here. Now we want to show that the right hand side of the equation gets us the exact same answer. So the right hand side of your equation here should result with this exact same Venn diagram shaded in. So let's show this down below. Now the first thing that we want to show is A intersect B. What does that represent on a Venn diagram? So here down below, A intersect B would just simply be this region shaded in right here. What's in common with both A and B? So that's your A intersect B. That's this right here. Now we also want to draw a Venn diagram for A intersect C. So we're going to put a separate Venn diagram right next to it showing A intersect C. Now A intersect C would be this shaded region here and here. And then what we want is the union of those two Venn diagrams. So the union of those two Venn diagrams would be basically what's in one or the other. So what's shaded in one or the other. So the first Venn diagram shows this region shaded in. So we're going to shade that region in here. And as well, the second Venn diagram shows this region shaded in. So we're going to shade that region in as well. Well, the center was already shaded in, so you don't have to shade it in again. And that right there represents the union of those two Venn diagrams. And you can see that 
this Venn diagram here in the end is equal to exactly this Venn diagram here. So left hand side equals right hand side and you just showed that with the use of Venn diagrams. Now for part B you want to show that E union F intersect E union F complement is equal to just E. Okay so the right hand side of the equation is pretty simple. Let's do a Venn diagram for just E. Now there's only two sets here so your Venn diagram should just have two circles and we're going to label each circle so this one would be E for example and this one would be F. So for the right hand side here is real simple the shaded region of just E would be this region right here as well as this center. So that's the entire region of just E. Now we want to show that the left hand side Venn diagram in the end would equal this Venn diagram right here. So let's start off with E union F. What would be the shaded region of E union F? Well here's our Venn diagram here. We're going to label again the E and the F sets. E union F here would just be what's in either E or F. So that would be this shaded region as well as the F shaded region here. Now let's simply show what the Venn diagram for E union F complement looks like. Well E union F complement is a little bit more tricky. Let's take a look at E and then let's take a look at F complement. So here would be the shaded region for just E and the shaded region for F complement would be everything but F. So that means everything inside E but not in F at all, which means that you would have to shade the entire universe as well. So a Venn diagram depicting the union of those two events would just simply be what's in either one or the other. So this one right here is showing just E. This one right here is showing F complement and we want the union of those two. I'll show it right here. E union F complement here would be again what's in one or the other. And so what's in one or the other would be, well, let's look at the first one all of E as well as in the second one here well I've already shaded this region in but we haven't shaded the universe region in yet so we're gonna have to fill in that region as well in this Venn diagram up here. Now ultimately what we want is the intersection of these two Venn diagrams. So this one on the left represents E union F and we want the intersection of those two Venn diagrams. Now the intersection of those two Venn diagrams just means what's in common of both the one Venn diagram and the second Venn diagram. Now the only areas that you see that are in common with both Venn diagrams is both of them have this center shaded in and both of them have the part of E shaded in as well. So the result would be what's shown right here on the right hand side. And so you just showed that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side.